the achievement is incredible. Oh. Great to see this sign. I'm gonna try and get to the summit of Bartle Frere today, but it is pouring rain. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I think I'm a little bit crazy. From here, the map is saying it's about a uh, seven kilometer hike to the summit, but there's a couple of camps. There's a camp that looks like it's uh, three or four kilometers in. Otherwise, I can pull onto the Eastern Summit Camp, which looks like it's about a K short of the summit. The zip here on my little backpack is completely rusted through and I can't get it back on. So I think I'm gonna carry this on my belly. Just decided the small backpack too hard. Put everything into the main backpack. Hey little fella. No public transport from Cairns to here that I know of. So um, I've had to hire a car. It's okay to leave it overnight in the car park, I hope. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. There's already a sign about plants that sting you. <sighs> Great. It's not the animals. The plants are gonna get you too. And now my rainproof covers come off. Probably one of those killer spiky plants. It's got me. FML. Cover back on. Okay. That was appropriately annoying. Feel free to skip this bit. But Mount Bartle Frere, I think it was named in like 1840 by some Scottish dude. Named after a governor of Bombay, which I think is from probably some British colonialism thing. Feels like a pretty decent opportunity here and now for the state government to change the name to something a little bit more culturally relevant. These are the spiky <laughs> You gotta look out for these all across the track. Not good when you're just wearing shorts. things sticking to me everywhere. I feel a bit like Newman in Jurassic Park trying to get out of the forest with those little vials. All of a sudden a dinosaur is going to come out. <laughs> My wife's a botanist and she works with a guy that's done some research around this region and he said there's a really high concentration of leeches around here and that I should wear stockings underneath to protect myself. <sighs> I'm not sure shorts was the best idea, especially when there's things like this across the track. Oh! <sighs> Don't think I'll get to the summit tonight. Hopefully I can get to camp on the eastern side of the summit, get set up and see the summit in the morning. And from the looks of the cloud, I don't think there'll be much to see. More oh, spiky plants. So I've been going for about 40 minutes now and the temperature seems to have gone from about 23 degrees to a billion degrees. I'm not kidding about the leeches. They are all over my shoes. Oh, look at this one. This one. Oh, there's everywhere. Get up. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I brought salt. Oh, there we go. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. Get off. More. More. Ah. Ah. Salt. 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 I'm going to need more salt. And there's a giant skull. Terrific. Every once in a while you have to stop and appreciate just how beautiful this place is. But you can't stop too long. Otherwise it'll f***ing leeches get all over you. No! Shit. Now I'm gonna get across there. And I've got 
bleaches all over me. Down here. <sighs> this place is unreal. And shoes back on. Pretty. I'm guessing that's a three kilometer mark. And it's taken me just under two hours with a couple of leech stops and a river crossing. Take that, take that. Oh, everywhere. So I presume this is big rock camp. I guess that's the big rock. It's taken me two hours and 10 minutes to get here. And now I've got a decision whether I push on another two hours and get up to the summit or camp here. Another quick thing, it's pretty beautiful. Decided I'll camp here tonight. I'll go do Broken Nose now. And in the morning with a lighter pack, get all the way up to the summit. I think mean, that's a good idea. Change of plans. Oh, there are leeches everywhere here. Oh. All right. Press on. These things are all over my shoes. Salt! So I'm in a bit of a race against time now. Of course, being on the eastern side, the sun will be disappearing over the, the other side of Battle Frere right now. So it's getting darker and darker. And I reckon by 6 p.m. it'll be too dark to keep going. I can't get up to the camp, unfortunately. So I just found a small little clearing here, which unfortunately I know is gonna be leech infested, but uh, I don't really have any other choice. I think I've just gotta hunker down here. Try and get undercover, zip up the tent. I'll bunker down here, do a little leech stock take. Look at them! They're everywhere! I bought a Katmandu jumper today, which is um, just turned into a hundred dollar pillow. It's now seven o'clock in the morning. It has been raining all night. Quick inspect of the shoes. Look pretty good. Oh, oh, there's a cheeky little bugger. It's still wet. I'm not sure if it's ever dry here. Looks like there's some really steep sections ahead, so I might, um, might dump the backpack. Oh, that's much better. Alright, here we go. Five kilometers. So now about halfway between Big Rock Camp and Eastern Summit Camp. The rain has really started to bucket now. Yes, the only saving grace is under the canopy here. You're not getting the full force of it. And it's not cold either. I mean, it must be 15 or 16 degrees, which is very pleasant walking temperature. Someone didn't like this book called Coyote Frontier. I'd say it's the Only sign of somebody else that I've seen. That is straight up. Look at this rock. It's completely covered in moss. So it's a six kilometer, so Eastern Summer Camp now is within the next K. In between kilometers five to six, really, really nice walk. This is my first glimpse at the sky. It's still raining. It must be getting close now. Almost at uh, Eastern Summit Camp here. Really, really tough rock scramble. The last, uh, I, mean, I guess it's the last 100 meters. 
wouldn't have been able to do it with my backpack on. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get a view today, unfortunately, but that's part of the thrill. Here's the Eastern Summit Camp. Glad I did not stay up here last night. It would not have been pleasant. And that's the rest of the way up to the, the top. A little emergency hut here. The South Camp. With some mats. Challenge isn't over just yet. Any more rock hopping ahead? This rock scramble. Unbelievable. The rocks are wet. So hard. Big, big gaps. You can see lots of drip waters have been lost. Gotta be really, really careful here. It's super slippery in these conditions. And I really need big hiking boots. I just bought the walking the trail shoes. Lots of these little friends. grass and shorts. Terrific. Look at the view. Just kidding, there's no view. You're kidding me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, for this last half hour, really testing me. A lot of rock scrambling, wet rocks, real challenging. It's just up there, but requires a lot of effort. Here it is. No view at the top, oh, but the achievement is incredible. Get some leeches off me. Both my hands now. Yeah, right under my socks and my feet. 1611 or 1622 meters above sea level, depending on which source you use. Not the scale of Bogong and Victoria, Kosciuszko and New South Wales, obviously. So the effort to get to, to the top is immense. Let's have a look at these socks. See what's going on down here. You guys happy? Alright, I'm going to leave you to it. I don't really care at this point. Not a fresh. Woo. Awesome. Little backpack, my old friend. I've come to carry you again. Now i got to load up all the gear again. I'm looking forward to carrying this again. Up to your broken nose and miss. Always nice to leave something to come back to. So lessons learned. Started earlier, the rain doesn't matter. I waited for the rain and didn't leave until it's too late. Just go in the rain. Really strong hiking shoes. Oh, the boulder climb at the end is treacherous. These trail shoes probably not sturdy enough. And leeches. Prepare for leeches. Like thousands of them. Check your hands. Wipe your face, sometimes you can feel them on your face, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I think I'm okay. This place is magic. It's the first river crossing on the way up, last river crossing on the way back. They appreciate it. Alright, final stretch. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of people in there today. Well done, Battle Frere. Enormous challenge. Could be much better to do with a friend as well, but I don't have any of them either. Oh. We are back at car park. All worthwhile. I started here, all the way up past Black Rock Camp, camp in there somewhere, up past the hut, into the sun. 
1,622 meters. Time to deal each. These buddies. Every little meeting in there. Shoes. Leeches. Everywhere. Should have worn the lady stockings.